Welcome, my name is John Brunswick and we're going to be looking at the Internet of Customers and the Internet of Things. What can we do to use technology to help businesses meet their business goals? Today we're going to be looking at facilities management. Let's say for instance that I own a couple different buildings in a given city. And within each one of those buildings, I have a number of units that I want to monitor just to keep ahead of things and make sure that I'm providing effective maintenance and I'm keeping my costs down. I'm keeping my residents, my tenants happy. So in Salesforce, I've gone ahead and created some custom objects, some buildings, some units within the buildings. And for each unit, I've included information like temperature, sunlight, humidity. Today, we're just going to look at temperature. But I'm going a step further as well and created a custom real-time dashboard that's going to show us the temperature in each one of the units. And we're doing this, by the way, using the Arduino technology that we looked at last time, as well as Node.js again. And just below our web page, we can actually see the socket communication between the sensor that we have out in the field and the dashboard here. Now, here, I have the unit that's actually collecting that temperature information. And just as an example, I'm going to place it in a heated zone. And so in a moment, what we'll see here, we read the temperature every, let's say, 10 seconds. We're going to see it start to go up. But it's going to do something else just beyond going up in the nice UI. It's also going to automatically create a maintenance task. You see, we don't have time to look at pretty dashboards all day long. We have stuff to do for our businesses. And therefore, we want to use things like the native rules within the system to automatically trigger tasks. Let's take a look. So I'm running the Salesforce One mobile application on my handheld device. And we can see here that the temperature just went above 80 degrees and turned red in our display. I'm going to hop into the Salesforce One application. And because I can follow an object in Salesforce like a unit, just like I would a person on Facebook, I actually just got a notification one minute ago to check unit climate status. I'm going to go ahead and click on view more details. And in just a moment, it's going to bring up the details. And this is related to unit 309. So I could write a note here and say I'm looking into it or I could go into the building, take a look, confirm that everything's okay and maybe something was just um, somebody put something close to a radiator or whatever it might have been and I can actually just check off and complete my task. Let's go ahead and take this guy out of the hot water, put him over in the ice bath and we'll notice that again in real time the dashboard here is going to bring down the temperature in whatever the sensor is measuring. So this is just another example of how connecting these devices using some constructs that are inherently within Salesforce and then using things like native capabilities with workflow and mobile access ends up being able to save us a lot of time, especially if we had hundreds of units and we were trying to measure and deal with them all. So all of the source code for this will be online on my blog at johnbrunswick.com. Follow me on Twitter, John Brunswick, and I look forward to the next post.